Welcome back, everyone. A lot of great causes uh, yes. to support this month. Uh, we've already talked about diabetes and Crohn's and colitis. There's a, a fantastic benefit concert going on tonight, uh, the War Child Benefit Concert. Mm -hmm. And joining us in studio now, we have Vikas Coley from Fat Labs, how uh, you doing? a music producer. <laughs> and tell us about Fat Labs and how you're supporting uh, the event tonight. Uh, well, Fat Labs is uh, my music studio, and obviously I work with a lot of different artists in all sorts of genres. And so tonight what's going on is there's a benefit concert for War Child, mm -hmm. which is, as I said, a great organization. And I think what's really cool is because we've got young kids in rock bands playing to help kids in other worlds that aren't doing so well because they're being obviously Definitely. taken advantage of. Yeah. And the audience, of course, is going to be kids as well. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a great way to educate kids about these great, you know, big world issues, mm -hmm. and also, uh, you know, have them support, you know, and get involved. And War Child is such yeah. a great organization. The work that they do around the world is really, you know, it, it's, it's a miracle sometimes. Well, They're something doing miracle that's needed work. year long, but more particularly yeah. with the holidays quickly approaching and uh, really trying to make the world a better place. Really. Definitely. Right. So, Tell us a little bit about War Child. I'm sorry to yeah, interrupt sure. you. I just want our viewers at home to understand what type of work they are doing. Uh, they, they have programs all over the world, um, and they do all sorts of things in every country. I think they basically tailor it. Um, I think you probably, a lot of viewers are probably uh, aware of a lot of other rock artists on the you know global scale get involved. They go travel to places like Africa where there's some civil war and unrest right. going on and these kids are being recruited to fight other children. And uh, so they, they sort of get in there and they try to get the kids and take them out of you know, the, the control of basically these warlords. Mm -hmm. Right, well I know in particular um, Rain Maida and Chantal Kreviazic right. are very involved in War Child and mm -hmm. it's fantastic to see Canadian artists getting involved. Um, you've done a lot of work in the music industry as well. That's Talk right. to us a bit about, uh, you know, some of your some, ventures. Some of your ventures. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, outside of, you know, trying to support things like War Child, uh, just, uh, you know, like the, the kids that are playing tonight are sort of some of the artists that I would work with in the studio mm -hmm. at Fat Labs and uh, you know, we bring them in the studio, we try to get them on uh, an artist development program, which is to get them from just writing songs, to actually recording the songs, and getting the basics of how they maneuver through the industry, mm -hmm. so they can get to a, a hopefully a platform where other people can learn about, you know, what it is they're trying to say creatively and musically. And um, fortunately, you know, I've also had the the benefit of working with some really good artists yeah. uh, on the major label scale as well, and international artists like uh, Mika Singh from Bollywood. Wow. And uh, the responsible so is a great band. You you so just uh, did a, a soundtrack for a film. Tell us about yeah. I Do Do I. We've got a clip. We're going to look at that in a yeah. second. But uh, tell us about the movie. Uh, the movie is this really cool comedy. It's uh, it's actually a, a local uh, production company that's called I Do Do I. It's about a, a guy who's doubting whether he should get engaged, uh, which you've never gone through, right? No. 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 <laughs> and you've never gone through anything. No, unless you know somebody. You know. Right. Well, no. well <laughs> you know. Here, Dave. And, that, and that was kind of the premise of the movie, which is, you know, uh, before you get there, you might be thinking, oh, this is what I want. Right. Then when you get there, most people get cold feet. Okay. And uh, so in the scene that we've got, um, he's getting ready for his engagement party, and he's basically worrying. He's starting to freak out a little bit about whether he's r doing the right thing. So we got kind of a, a throwback to an 80s style getting ready montage. Oh, and that's fun. We produced a, a rock and roll track right. behind well, it. I think we have yeah. got a clip, so let's, let's, uh, let's get that ready and let's take a look. Raj, yeah, sure, yes. sure, sure, sure. Go get Raj, quickly. He's been waiting for you. Hey, Raj. Music. This music Great is so music. much fun. Yeah, so I got to know, what comes first, the clip or the music? Um, they kind of go hand in hand. Usually, uh, you know, in this case, what happened, the filmmakers, they had the scene and they brought a clip of the, well, they brought me the whole rough cut of the film, actually. Right. And then they they brought what we call like a temp track, which is, here's a, sa a famous song that, you know, it's got the right vibe. Right. But of course, they need right. something custom made for their Definitely. film. Mm -hmm. And so well, I take that idea of that vibe and then I produce something for them. It goes through a rough cut phase where they might then make, maybe they make some edits again to the film to make it fit, uh, or and vice versa. So it's definitely a dialogue, like they're doing something creative on the film side, I'm trying to do something creative on the musical side, 
and you got to have a conversation. Hopefully, the whole thing comes together, and mm -hmm. you end up with scenes like that, which well, you know you should take the starring role. For <laughs> the the sequel. Like, we're, watching, we're watching the clip, and I was like, I could be in this movie. Well, it's the same way that you do your hair every morning before we come to do this show. A little tip, I don't know if you know that, but that's Travis. And so obviously, you have to learn how to work well with others. Really, that's yes, the key must play here. well with others. And yes. I'm sure that's what you're teaching a lot of the uh, these young artists that are coming to you for this help and support. Actually, it's a, that's a really good point because. Um, if you're just, you know, most, thankfully most musicians are pretty laid back, you know, everyone likes hanging out with rock star types. But there's you know? always a diva somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the diva's got to go. <laughs> yeah. No, that's actually true. The, you know, the funny thing is the stereotypes are kind of true, right? Like a lot of the rock bands, are, they come in and no matter how scary they look, you yeah. know, on stage, honestly, when they come in the studio, they're just, they're just hanging out, they're joking, yeah, they're, you they're know, chilling. the scariest looking guys could be pulling the stupidest pranks and the funniest jokes in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's what makes them fun to work with. And if you have someone fun you want to work with, then everyone just wants to put more into the project. Definitely. But if you get the divas, like I said, then it's kind of like, uh, you know what, we'll work on this next week. Well, yeah. we'll watch, I don't know if you sing, but maybe you can get uh, Deja, well. Deja the diva in the studio. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, he's the diva. Oh, I am. No, you know, I am, I am. And you know, a lot, of course, very well. a lot of the divas have that whole, you know, only the green m and sort of thing. So, you know, in, in honor of us being a little late on, on Halloween, you know, the, the rock star way is to always walk with a flask in a room. <laughs> but the Halloween way to do it is to bring Skittles. Oh, oh I love so, it. I'm going to have one. I love it. That's now, so Now, what does cute. it say? Travis took the blue, and Deja, you took the uh, the orange? Which tropical so, am I I'm doing? a lot more tropical. <laughs> it's like the Matrix. Which one enters reality and which one exits? You're a lot of fun. You're obviously a very talented <laughs> guy. Uh, you've got a lot going on. Tell us again. We've got about a minute left right. uh, about the event tonight and the, and the details for it. So tonight, it's uh, the War Child Benefit Concert. Mm -hmm. It's happening at Cawthor Park School, uh, Secondary School, which is the regional arts program. Um, actually, the, most of the leads from the movie I Do Do I came from Cawthor Park. Oh, right. oh great. Uh, I also graduated from Cawthor Park, the event organizer as mm -hmm. well. Jen, she graduated from there. And all, most all the bands are, of course, from Cawthor yeah, as well. So, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a local scene. It's starting at 6.30 tonight. Perfect. And we're going to rock the house until yeah, we free the thank children. Thank you, sir. Appreciate event. it. It's changing the world. Exactly. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks so much for having me. We'll thank be you. back on daytime. Stay with us.